Good evening, YouTube. This evening we're going to look at the hanging tomato basket plants. I guess that's what they're called. I'm not real sure exactly what they're called, but we have four of them out here on the back porch. Back porch is covered with opaque covering. And then when it hits on this side, it's covered with tin. So light can get through the entire back port side because we have hydroponics going on on the entire back side of the house on the back port. Tonight though, we're looking at the hanging tomato plants that started out as one of the little bitty sprig like this, made it to this, but now we're dealing with this. I am pretty sure from research that we have spider mites on these plants. This one does not have any webs at the time. I sprayed them last night with a solution. I sprayed this one last night with a solution. And I don't see any kind of web anywhere. So maybe it worked, but we're going to try it again tonight. It's going down this other side. But so far, I see no indication of spider webs or what looks like spider webs. I see some of these here. Obviously these are dead. I've been breaking them off the last two or three days. I have these here. They're dead. Just breaking them off to get 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 them gone. They're not going to do anything. They're not beneficial to the plant. If you can't tell, this plant is very dense. I'm going to try this shot, see if it works or not. But up underneath it, hopefully you can see that plant is just, I mean, good Lord, it, it needs cleaned out. Have not done it yet, but anyway, back up to here. I'm just basically breaking off the dead stuff, which is what I've been doing the last two or three days. Last night's the first night I sprayed anything. This one here is the same way. But again, anything that's not healthy looking has been getting broke off of the plant. Especially the dead stuff. Let's give it a spray and see what it looks like tomorrow. So what we're doing right now is we're going to spray a little concoction we got up here. I'll put all the notes in, down into the description of the video. Two nights ago, there were spider webs here, spider webs here, spider webs here. All the new growth pretty much had something that looked like spider webs. So not a very strong solution. It's a very weak solution, as a matter of fact. And again, um, I'll put that down in the description of the video. But let's spray this sucker down. It pretty much atomizes, this sprayer atomizes everything. Obviously, we have tomatoes right here, which need to be washed off. Washed. And it really, really smells like oregano, okay? If you like oregano, you might like the smell. But hopefully, the bugs that do not like oregano if they don't like it and they're gonna go away. We're we'll spray it up underneath the leaves even. Anywhere you can get that spray. Spray it and make sure the leaves are wet. Make sure they're dripping a little bit. This one here. I'm not sure what's gonna happen with. It's got some foliage down here. I mean obviously there's no foliage up here. There's all the foliage down here. We might have waited a little bit long on this one. So. We're going to spray it though. We're going to try to see if we can't get rid of some stuff. Maybe it'll come back. Maybe not. You just never know. Till you try. It's like a friend of mine told me. If you go down. Go down swinging. There's some very new growth over here. That looks really really nice. 
the rest of the plant does not look nice at all. So get up underneath everything. With spider mites, you have to get up underneath the leaves because that's where most of them are. I will try to get out here tomorrow, and hopefully I won't have any. But if I do, I'll show you how to find them and catch them before it gets this bad. This one here, hopefully you can see the yellowing. There's some yellowing in this, this leaf here. There's a bunch of dead leaves up in here, which are... I mean, this plant had a hard life. There's tomatoes all up in here. There's red tomatoes everywhere up in here. Maybe we caught this in time, but... And there's no spider webs. This, this plant says spider webs last three days, last four days, until today. So, I'm gonna spray it again. All you need to do is just wet everything down really, really well. Make the leaves moist, make the leaves dripping with your solution here, which again is a very, very, very weak solution. But you sure do not want to spray it when they're in direct sunlight. Bad, bad, bad on the leaves. Now comes the fun part. We're going to do everything from underneath. And hopefully I won't spray myself in the mouth like I did a couple days ago. You need to get every, every leaf. You need to get a little of this solution on it. The spider mites, which I'm pretty sure is what are in these, are completely up in this plant. I'll try to get out here tomorrow and see if maybe we can't figure out what's going on. And we pretty much did everything that we were supposed to do to keep these plants growing like crazy. I've been feeding them hydroponic solution, it makes be gardener recipe for tomatoes. And Come to find out, guess what? If you do that, you're creating the best in environment that you can to have spider mites because they love full, healthy plants. A friend of ours that we bought one for her for Mother's Day. Hers are doing the same thing. The leaves are starting to curl up, have a bunch of yellow spots on them. I'm thinking that since they came from the same place, maybe they had an infestation down there. Not real sure, but we're just hoping that maybe this will stop all the infestation. So there's red tomatoes all up underneath here. But it's still making, it's still making tomatoes. There's just lots of dead leaves and all that. You have to wonder, are the leaves dead because they died out? The, the main branch has come off and it's time to take this off? Or, you know... There's, there's tomatoes growing right here. There's blossoms and blooms everywhere on the bottom side of this plant. So, watch your plants. That's all I can say is watch your plants. As soon as you see something going on with your plants, try to figure out what's going on. Don't do like I did and wait about a week because work got in the way and all that. Like this right here. There's no foliage, but nothing but tomatoes. This, this is not right. This over here, this is right. I suppose apparently this plant here has suckers that are growing everywhere and keep coming out and we're going to take so many suckers off we're going to put them in a the bucket and we're going to try to do this all again and maybe grow some more of these. But we got to get rid of spider mites first, see what's going on. We sure don't want no spider mites on the rest of our tomato plants that are over here that are fixing to go into a whole nother place. But we'll spray them tonight. Make sure they're they're all good. So we'll watch these first and see what they do. We'll go from there. Thank y'all for watching. Enjoy. Come back again. Make sure and hit that like button. 
make sure and hit the subscribe button so that way when you when I do put another video out you'll be notified and you'll be right there with us. Maybe you can help me not mess up stuff. Enjoy. Thank you.